hello uh, this is the continuation of the last tutorial uh, if you haven't seen it then uh, watch that before you watch this so in the last tutorial we made a folder with all the images uh, right there so now we go to our projects folder so let me zoom in Allegro Tut, Allegro Tut, and we drag the folder here. So it's in there. So let's get into the code. So let me delete all this. So um, when when you're creating uh the bitmap in the in our other tutorials. In our first sprite tutorials, um, we just have to load one image and one image. Now I have to load twelve, so you could easily do walk one, walk two, walk three, but that's annoying, right? That's why we learned about um, arrays in our, the beginner tutorials. And if you do not know what arrays are, please go back to your beginner tutorials because I don't have time to explain them. So we made our our walk array twelve. So we could easily put walk zero is equal to load underscore bitmap walk slash slash because in the folder Mario walk one dot bmp and we could do that all the way up to twelve and that would work right it would load all the images we need but really that's not really efficient it if you have a lot of images and a lot of attack images after a while it just becomes a long long list of just nonsense you don't need and i used to do it this method i used to do this method when i just started with allegro i didn't know any better but i'm going to teach you a more efficient way now this way might not be the absolute best way, but it's a very good way and very good for beginners. And it also does error checking, so it's error, so it checks if you have errors. And it's a good thing to pro to practice when making programs because if an error happens, the user has to know, right? So at the top here, I added. S stream, S stream string and C string now in the beginner tutorials you probably never learned about the string stream well I didn't you most likely learn about strings and you might not have learned about C strings right so C string is a C library which you really need um, and you'll see why so if you notice it says stream what you notice is, uh, don't you notice is about um, when you include IO stream or when you include F stream for files like inputs and outputs? Well, what do you notice about all these things? When you put C out, you put two left stream operators, the stream operator system, right? So you put that and you can write whatever you want, and then you can put a next one. And put a variable and so on and so forth. Same with sin or cn. You put two right stream operators and you get a variable name. And when you're doing with um the um the file stream library, you do the same thing as you would with c out and cn because they're streams. So with the string stream library, we're just making a stream, but with strings right so let's um i'm going to show you the reason why we're going to use this and how it can be more efficient than just listing all of them now it might seem long and confusing now but it really makes it better doing it this way and trust me it really does especially when loading multiple sprites so I'm gonna make a for loop because I want to count it to loop 12 times. So equals zero because an array starts at zero. 
and I'm gonna name it variable i. I'm gonna put it, it's gonna keep on looping while it's less than or equal to 11. Remember, if the size of the array is 12, that means it goes until 11. <clears throat> and i plus plus. So now I'm going to put string stream. And if you haven't, if you didn't put using namespace std, then you're gonna have to put std colon colon string stream. So and I want to name it walk. <clears throat> And the walk, we have the two left stream operators symbols. So I'm going to put walk slash slash because in the walk folder. And I'm going to put Mario walk because the name of the image. And I'm going to put i plus one dot bmp. <laughs> so what I basically did here. I said I put in walk just like I put C out. So in C out, if I, if we were to read this, I would put walk slash Mario walk um one dot bmp, right? That's what it would be in if we put in C out. But we put this in the string stream, so same thing. So it puts walk slash 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 Mario walk. So if we go to walk, and it goes to Mario walk. Then there's i plus one, and the reason why I did i plus one is because there's no walk. Is it, it the walk doesn't go from zero to eleven? It goes from one to twelve, right? Mario walk one to twelve. So I put i plus one, and it's a dot bmp file. So in the end, if I'm loading Mario walk one, it will the end result will look like this: walk slash Mario. Mario walk sorry one dot bmp and that's that'll be the end result so in this way it will load every single time it loops it will change this number and therefore that's how it will load the images so we're gonna put walk i is equal to load bitmap so we it would be easy if we could just put walk there and we'll just load that image but sadly it has to be a constant char and we're gonna use the C string library. So we're gonna put walk dot str and put those two to notify that we're changing into a string. So it's walk dot str so we're changing into a string. That's why we're using the string library. Then put another dot c underscore string and another two for um brackets. Now what we're doing is we're changing to a string, then we're changing it into a char string, right? And it will change into like a char type. And then no. The reason why we have to do this is because Allegro. Let me see how much time I have. Um, okay, so it's because Allegro only reads the char type, it can't read the string or anything, it has to read the char type. So, once you do that, every single time it loops, so what it's basically doing it's right here is creating this. So, then when it goes, it says i plus 1. So, i plus 1 is 1. So, it's loading Mario Walk 1 dot BMP. So when we load that, it loads it. Then it goes back. Then i is going to be equal to one. So one plus one is equal to two. So it's going to load Mario Walk two dot bmp. Right? It's going to load it. So this is going to load until the amount of time. Right? So that basically does it. But I want to do error checking in case you can't find it. So we're going to put if not walk i then we're going to put allegro message we're going to display a message error could not open i'm going to put percent s and end with the quotation and then we're going to put the same thing we put up here let's copy that and paste and we need a bracket to close it 
And the reason why I put, um, if you don't know what this means, it basically says we're gonna put a string. We want to put a string here, but it's not like you're gonna define it after. So when you put this comma here, you define what you want to put over here. So it says error. So if it can't open Mario Walk Two, that BMP it will say error. Could not open um walk slash slash Mario Walk One dot BMP, and that's basically it. So then it will this will load all the walking images and just so to check if we did this right let's run this program and there was no problems and this just from the last tutorial so now let me just just show you just in case like um what the what would happen if it couldn't find a file so let me cut this folder or right, let me do uh yeah whatever I cut it and let's paste it or whatever let me just move it to the desktop and let's go back and let's run this error cannot open blah 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 let's set that for all the other ones because the folder is not there right so that's good just to let you know and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to make the images walk so hope this helped and if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask bye